What makes us human? Our brains and minds? Our intelligence? A sense of self? Almost all organisms in the animal kingdom have a brain. Some are nothing but a bundle of nerve cells, some are more complex, but none are as complex as a human brain. This brain structure, which has been a part of humans more or less for the last 150,000 years, has permitted us to use tools, control fire, build computers and explore the universe. And we're gaining knowledge on its structure and many of its functions. However, difficult questions remain unanswered. What is consciousness? How do we best recognize and define mental illness and mental health? and many others remain to be examined, such as the ethical, societal, and political implications of new understandings of the brain and of the mind. What happens to us when we're unconscious? Can we form new memories? Can we hear? Do we feel the passing of time? Do we have a sense of self? Until recently, we had a limited understanding of what was going on in the unconscious brain, but brain studies suggest there are many levels of consciousness. It is more a spectrum than a simple question of on or off. If you could still be sentient while unconscious, in other words, if you could still be there even though you can't react or communicate, we might be forced to reconsider the way we treat unconscious patients. As we probe the human brain, trying to understand human intelligence, it seems logical we would use our knowledge to develop even more intelligent supercomputers and build advanced robot technologies simulating the human brain. Indeed, the Human Brain Project is creating a European research infrastructure for neuroscience and ICT to continue working together to discover more about how the healthy and diseased human brain works and develops. But these pursuits must be carried out responsibly. We must not open Pandora's box as we're trying to create machines which could evolve beyond human understanding. And so we need to anticipate the potential consequences. Modern neuroscience compels us to answer fundamental questions about conscience, intelligence and what makes us human. The Ethics and Society Group of the Human Brain Project explores future scenarios and helps the HBP in ensuring the research is up to EU's ethical standard. And it identifies and examines the philosophical and ethical questions we need to answer in the wake of scientific insight. This also involves engaging the general public in debates, enabling policymakers to listen to the concerns and visions of the general public. The human brain is the most complex organism we know of. Unraveling its mysteries will change how we think about ourselves as human beings and about human society.